What is up, RCFT crew? Today, we're gonna to be talking about the sandbag carry. So we've got this as our challenge, right? The sled drive and sandbag carry couplet. You're gonna to have to carry some heavy sandbags down and back. It ain't gonna be easy. So let's talk through the technique to get as much out of this as we can. Uh, the carry we're gonna do is called the bear hug carry, meaning I'm gonna carry it out in front of myself like this. There are other types of sandbag carries we can do. You can shoulder it and bring it up there, or there's kind of a belly carry where I bring it across and I kind of fold it in half, fold it in half and carry it low. We're gonna do the traditional classic bear hug carry. So I'm gonna get this up and I'm gonna get a hold on it. Getting it up into the bear hug position from standing is not a one move thing. It's kind of a two move thing. And so to be clear up front, I'm not dropping down with my butt literally to the ground to grab this and try to squat straight up. It's just not gonna work. I'm gonna be in too much of a compromised position to be effective with it. So I need to use more of like a deadlift technique to get this thing up off the ground, and then I can shelf it on top of my knees, re-grip, and then do more of that squat to bring it all the way up. So this is kind of a two-phase piece that we're gonna do. Once I talk through how to get this up, I'm going to show you the three major grips you can use and encourage you to play around and find the one that works best for you, all right? So we're going to start out with a light sandbag. I'm going to talk through this technique to get this thing up and kind of get it all set. And then I might fail the first time, but we'll just keep filming. I'm going to do one of the heavier sandbags. You can see how I kind of struggle with that, but still, if I feel it out, I can get all the pieces right. So I've got this light sandbag. I'm going to turn it sideways. First things first, I'm trying to get my hands kind of centered under it, and, and it might look different than where the actual center is. As soon as I start to pick this up, if I feel it spilling forward or backwards, honestly, you should probably just set it right back down, redo your grip where you think it should be, and try again. Because if that thing's already spilling forward or backwards, a whole second later, it's already gonna be out of your hands. You're not gonna get it up in time. So I need to feel out the dead center of this first. And once I find that center, I'm gonna shift this bag and lift it left, right, left, right, left, right, and keep working my hands in closer and closer together. Maybe they just come together and it's a good grip like this where I can pick it up. Maybe I get them so far together that I can actually interlace my fingers, okay? It might be this, it might be this, but you're gonna have a strong grip and pinch in your elbows to get that grip, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get this grip set. Once I have that set, I'm going to essentially do a bit of a leg press to get this up a little bit. My butt's not gonna be super down, all right? So I'm gonna get wide, I'm gonna lift, 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 and I can kind of interlace my fingers with this one. You can see my butt's still pretty high in here. I'm going to leg press away from the floor, and as soon as I get it above my knees, I'm gonna drop it to my knees and sit. And now I've kind of got a set position. From here, I can determine the grip that I want. I'm gonna squeeze this into my chest, pinching in my elbows, and stand up. And I've got this in this sort of sweet spot right up on my sternum. If I hold it too low and it's just in my belly, it's gonna feel like shit. And if I hike it so high and it's up on my chest, well, I'm gonna struggle to breathe, okay? That's how we bring up that bag into that bear hug position, all right? All right? There's three different grips that I can use when I finally set myself, right? I said bringing it up, it might be like this, but once I'm sitting, I'm gonna choose how I'm gonna grip my hands. So there's three major grips. First one, what most of you will feel comfortable with is known as ball and socket. It's essentially putting one hand and grabbing the wrist of the other. Not the hands grabbing, but actively just grabbing the wrist of the other hand and pinching my elbows in and pulling this or sucking it towards my body, all right? and just kind of creating enough tension to hold that there. So that's your classic ball and socket. Another one is gable grip. I don't want my thumbs involved. So I take my hands, turn them perpendicular, and I've got that gable grip named after Dan Gable, the wrestler, okay? And then the last one, and this is usually if you're, if you're using a sandbag that's so far, you can barely get your hands around it, you can just barely get your fingertips, is what's called the S-grip or monkey grip, like a barrel monkeys, right, where I'm gonna interlock my fingers and create hooks like that. It's still a really strong grip, but it's usually gonna be reserved for what you can just barely get your hands around and can't really get the ball and socket or the grip that you prefer, okay? So those are the different ways I can grab those grips. Now that we've got a sense of that, let me demo a heavier sandbag that I'm legit going to kind of struggle to get up. 
I might fail the first time, I don't have a ton of reps with this yet, but you'll see me kind of figure it out, get it set, and you'll see a really authentic effort to get that sandbag up into position. So again, even though it's vertical, I'm not gonna squat down and try to pick this up, it just ain't gonna work. I'm gonna push this forward on its side, and kind of find where to be. I've learned a few times I gotta grip a little higher than I thought, so I think this is it. Yep, okay. Get my grip, looks like gable grip for me. I'm gonna get it into my chest where I want, squeeze my elbows in, and now I've got it right where I want it. Is it easy? No. But am I able to do this and carry it? Yes, I am. When I walk here, I wanna kind of lean my whole body back. I don't wanna just lean back and make all those spinal rectus, all those little lower back muscles do the work. I don't wanna lean like this. I wanna lean more from the knees. And then I can walk. for at least a limited amount of time until the arms get up. So I know this is a new movement for us. It's gonna to be tough, but man, it's a lot of fun. I feel myself getting stronger already just working with them a little bit. So I hope this helps. Use these technique tips the next time you carry the sandbag later in this week's training. And as always, hit us up if you have any questions. Thanks guys, and I'll see you at the gym.